decrease from protect and in this video we are going to learn how to add block elements to our site using the Elementor page builder, the Better Docs plugin and the essential add-ons for Elementor plugin. First we need to go over to the left where it says plugin we are going to click on add new and on the search bar we are going to type Better Docs and this is the one we are going to use, the Better Docs plugin it will allow us to create a database within our site where we can create articles and add them to our site using the essential add-ons for Elementor plugin so we have the essential add-ons already installed and active but the process is pretty much the same what we are going to use for the better doc so we are going to click on install now and then we are going to click on activate so we are going to start with the configuration of the data docs which is a setup wizard which is quite easy to do so we can check if we want to share non-sensitive diagnosis data the plugin uses information so we are going to click on next and we can enable a binning documentation page if we disable it we are going to create our own page instead of the one the plugin did so the slug of the page docs and we can enable an instant answer to resist this option is for the pro version so we are going to click on next and here we can create our own categories and create our own articles we are going to create, click on next and we can select an easy customization we are going to talk about this one in another video and an exception option fine that we are going to look at that so we can go next we are finished good job and now we are going to the database the better doc settings so we can disable the enable following page and we can select a page to be the docs page because we need to create a one but we need to insert a short code inside the page and this page will be used as a docs program so we are going to use the build in the page the docs slug and the custom category slug docs category and docs tags for the tags for the layout in the documentation page we can enable the live search the server search image enable the mention way and we can order the categories and ports alphabetically and with nested numbers nested subcategory columns post and enable post com and explore more button and the text of the button for a single doc we can enable the content the hierarchy and most of these options are quite few because you can customize them on the customization option so we are going to enable them they come enabled by default most of them and for the archive page we can enable the sidebar category list and we have a number of short codes if we want to add to our pages and for the advanced settings they are for the pro version of the plugin so we are going to save the settings like that and we can create a new article so the article works mostly as a, in the blog page we are going to create it with the wordpress platform so we are going to create our article and we can add some things if we want but we are going to use this basic assignment so we are going to publish it we are going to the wordpress range so we have all two articles as you can see it doesn't have tags all categories added 
So this article with for the WP4 in this case is in the category one. Like this, we are going to categories where we can create some more categories. We have category one, two, and we can give it to our new category, a parent category, and we can change the icon for the category and the order. And for the tags, we can do the same. We don't have any tag tags that we can create them by tag one and the slug is PC1 and we don't have the products, so we are going to assign our new tag and we have created the tag one. So we are going to the side now and we are going to use the elementor and we are going to add some of the blog elements to our page. Here we are now we are going to scroll down to an open section and here we are going to type on the widget search bar better docs and we have better docs category box from the essential add-ons better docs category grid and the search form we are going to add the search form and we can, as you can see, we have our search box here, and we can add some body to it, a background, and on the search here, we can change the background color to anything we want. And for the field too, we can change the color and the typography, and we can add some padding and some radius, and we can change the search icon. The color for it, the size, and the close icon when the bar is activated. So we can do the same for the search result box. We can change the width, the background, and the search result list. We can change those as well in the same manner. So we have created our search bar, and we are going to add. Some other widgets for the battle box. So we are going to add the category box and the category reads too. We are going to add them in between. And as you can see, we have this will appear, for example, on a blog page. Here we have our categories and the post that ended in this type of categories. In this case, we have our WP forms and we can customize a little bit of the content I We can add some background padding width and on the columns, we can add some paddings, some typography of the category and the count. And color is giving something as you can see. For the size, the size of the font, we can change the background and the light. And for the article, we can do the same change the typography, change the background color, and add some margin and area panel and change the size of the icon and the light. And for the button, we can do the same here. So we are going to go and for the category box we can do mostly of the same. So this kind of items normally are found on the blog but they could not be added to the elemental page if we wanted. So we are going to save those changes by going to the lower button and clicking on the update. So we are going to the preview. And see how our set how our search bar works. We are going to scroll down to our search bar right here, and we are going to type article. As you can see, it's looking, searching, and we have our article one and the article two we have created here, and we can enter two 
on our article here on the category box or enter to the docs page on the categories within these articles on the category one so we are going to enter in an article and on the article one and we can enter on our article as you can see article one article or share buttons I see the stock and the task time it has been updated and the credit for the docs and the categories if we have some more categories it will show here on the sidebar and we can we have another search bar if we want to keep exploring the site and here we have docs and the article so we have added blog elements to our site using the Elementor page builder, the better docs plugin and the essential add-ons for Elementor in a quick and easy manner. If you like the video, subscribe to our channel and share with a friend who might need help on the sites. See you the next time on Palitech.